Hey guys, what's up? We are that horror couple. I'm Kaylee. And I'm Rob. And we are back to do another 80s horror film for you guys Whoa. today. <laughs> One of those films that doesn't get talked about enough. The Children. Open your mouth and say, talk about this film. Yeah. Do it for the kids. There you go. Do it because it's all, we, we don't do it for the kids. No, I, I don't watch my language actually. No. So this is for adults, but yeah, do it for the children. Yeah, there you go. Whoa, oh, sweet <laughs> child of mine. Yo, this is another good, this is another fantastic, good, early 80s film mm -hmm. where, like, the kids freak me out. Yes. You know, I don't have kids. You know, we just, I had a goldfish, and that was it. Yeah. And this film is like, it's like Children of the Corn or The Omen or anything else. Creepy children. Kids freak me out. Yes. That's why I just make a mess, like, on the lower back or, I, I you know, it's good for effect, oh too. Oh, God. It's good for effect. A nuclear plant leak turns a busload of children into murderous atomic zombies with black fingernails. Directed by Max Kalmanowitz. <laughs> <laughs> That's so wrong. Kalmanowitz. Kalmanowitz. <laughs> All right, forget the director's name. His no, name is Max. <laughs> Mr. Kalmanowitz is going to be really upset Kalmanok about Kalmanowitz. Hang on, let me try it for a third time. One. Credit the guy. One, two, three. Directed by Max Kalmakowitz. Kalmakowitz. Starring Martin Shakar, Gil Rogers, and Gail Garnett. Just call him Max. Thanks, Max. Good film, <laughs> sir. So, to kick off our likes of the film. <laughs> we are not professionals. We're just film lovers, guys. I'm not an expert at pronouncing, like, really long names. I'm sorry. I do the best I can. You suck. Sorry. <laughs> so, to kick off, like I said, our likes of the film, I have to say, I love how creepy the kids are in this film. Like, I love, like, how they give off, like, Children of the Corn, like, vibes before Children of the Corn. So, <laughs> I, I love a lot about this film, actually. Mm -hmm. I love that it's early 80s. I love that it's, like, very campy. Mm -hmm. um, it, I love that Trauma put it out, too. Yeah, so, yeah, it's a Trauma film. You get that Trauma jingle in the beginning, like that, 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 yeah. that, that, that. Yeah, I love trauma. And yeah. Th this is a film that does not get talked about enough. That is true. I feel like The Children 1980, although I think there's several films called The, the Children, but the, yeah. the Children 1980, mm -hmm. great film. Yes. Campy, but like cool concept. Yeah. Very eerie. Yeah. And I like it. Like you said, The Children. The Children are cool, though, because like you, the acting's kind of bad. Like, yeah, the kids but are they're like, like, oh. oh. Like they have like, like black fingernails and like dark circles around their eyes. Dude, like, mommy, mommy. They're fucking kids, though, and I love how they and and it's one of those stories where like there's a chemical spill mm -hmm. and it infects all these children, and then the children start like like killing off the parents. Yes. So and but when they touch the parents, the parents literally melt. And they melt that, down the so, bones. They like zombie. Yeah, it looks really cool. It's so cool to see, man. The effects in this movie are great. Yeah, it's that, practical that's effects. Like, like that is a huge like for us. I. Every single kill you, you mostly get to see, and just the way they did it was just so consistent throughout the entire film when each child touches a parent or someone else. Like, the yeah. way they die is, like, the exact same way each time. So it's very consistent and very well done. And you knew they were infected from, like, the black eyes yeah, and the, the black fingernails. Yeah, the black eyes and the black fingernails were a good indicator. I love the cinematography in the film. Like, I think it's a lower-budget film, but it doesn't seem that way because the cinematography is... Is so well done that you feel like you're watching like a, a movie at the movie theater. Like that's how it feels. To me, it felt like very uh, country like, like like Friday Thirteenth, very camp, yes. very campgroundish. Mm -hmm. Um, it was it was great. It reminded me, yeah, like I said, it reminded me of like an early eighties. It is an early eighties slasher, mm -hmm. but it reminded me a lot of Friday Thirteenth. Yes. Um, speaking of Friday Thirteenth, the music is straight out of Friday Thirteenth. It's done by Harry Manfredini, <laughs> and he took a bunch of snippets from Friday the Thirteenth and just changed it ever so slightly and put it in this film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but seriously, it's like to the point where you're like, is Jason going to come out? Yeah, like, I was closing words? my eyes. I was like, I feel like Mrs. Voorhees is about to pop out any minute. If you close your eyes and listen to the music, you feel like you're watching Friday the 13th. You let him drown. Yeah. <laughs> as far as dislikes of the film, I have to say the film is a little slow in certain parts with a lot of the dialogue, like the cop and his girlfriend and, and stuff like that. It was like oh. really random. And I'm like, 
with how, the two other hillbilly guys. I'm like, how about that? I was gonna say, how about those rednecks? Yeah, I'm like, he's like, she's got some nice hair. I'm like, you weirdo. Yeah. <laughs> There's guys like that in your town. Yeah, there is. <laughs> Kaylee's a Georgia girl. <laughs> I've seen some crazy shit. Yeah. So there's just a bunch of random scenes in the film I feel like just didn't fit. It was a little slower. So if they would have just like cut it down just a tiny bit, I think it would have been more enjoyable and more well paced. But you know, for but it what was, it was, it was I thought from it was great. Yeah. yeah. It's from 1980. Mm -hmm. But I agree. I agree. I was watching it and I was enjoying it. Good story. Mm -hmm. A lot of fun to watch. But I feel like um, there was one scene where like the kids were all missing in the woods and. I felt like occasionally a kid would jump out and attack an adult, but like in between that, it was like dragging. Yeah, a little, I was yeah. like, all right, are they gonna find these kids? I was, I kept waiting for something to happen. So, like you said, if they sped it up a tad, it would be cooler. Yeah. As far as final thoughts of the film, I would have to give this film a six point five out of ten. I liked it. Um, I enjoyed it for what it was. It's not my favorite. Like, um, I don't really want to go back and watch it super fast anytime soon but i would rewatch it again so i give it a 6.5 out of 10 oh i'm making you watch it then because like <laughs> i like this uh, film i like this film what, do you, what would you give it i like it man it's not a perfect film but i don't mm -hmm. think it's supposed to be yeah and i feel like it's a good early 80s slasher the mm -hmm. film's from 1980 mm -hmm. i feel like like in the horror community online i don't really hear this movie being talked about too much yeah and i feel like it should be okay yeah no i agree with you there i, yeah. I like this film I, and it's very it's a decent film and i like the whole story of like kids attacking mm -hmm. so uh kids attacking the adults yeah you know, possessed zombie kids very cool yeah so to me this is a 7.5 okay Okay. Not a perfect film, but, uh, you know, check it out. It's fucking cool. Yeah, so if you guys have seen The Children from 1980, please... Pretty damn good, Yeah, actually. please comment down below. Let us know your thoughts on the film. Like this video. Hit the Do bell. Do it for the children. Yeah, subscribe to our channel for more awesome horror content <laughs> and reviews. Once again, I'm Kaylee. Talk about, uh, like, damn kids these days. Yeah. <laughs> you and should. I'm Rob. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Talk about home.